All right, everybody. Uh, this is this is just a quick update on uh, the incubator, the little cooler incubator, and how it's doing. And um, the reason it's taking me a couple days to kind of update you on everything is because I haven't put eggs in there yet. Um, I've spent the last probably three days just trying to stabilize the temperature in here. And um, the 40 watt light bulb, I had to put a bunch of big holes in the sides of it and stuff like that, and that that kept it from getting too hot. But when the temperature would change in the house, there wasn't enough insulation, and it just it would it would change just right along with the house. Um, so there wasn't a lot of stability. It, it would get, you know, 103 degrees all the way down to like 95, and that's just too much variation in temperature. So um, uh, somebody commented on my uh, on my uh, my last video um, said uh, you'd re be better off just putting a smaller watt light bulb in there, like a 25 watt light bulb. And uh, I'm gonna say your name. It's like R32X, let me read it on here, uh, R, yeah, it's like R3X20, um, so that's kind of what I did, um, but I, instead of a 25 watt light bulb, I went with these little GE 15 watt light bulbs, and I got this at the dollar store, this was about, mm -hmm. this, <laughs> this was about two dollars, so you're still in the dollar range for light bulbs. Um, so yeah, the 15 watt light bulbs worked great. I covered up all the holes, and the funny thing is, is this light bulb perfectly heats this thing to 99 to 100 degrees, and uh, if you cover up everything. So if I wouldn't have put all the holes in here and everything, and uh, kept half of this window insulated with some insulation, it would be where it's at right now, which is exactly where I want it. And if you can see on the temperature gauge, it's at 99 right now. And within the last day, the last 24 hours, the highest it's gotten was 100 degrees, and the lowest it's gotten was 99. So that's perfect. That's exactly where I want it. Um, but you don't have to worry about it too much. Um, the main reason why is because when the temperature goes up and down, the egg's temperature doesn't go up. The internal temperature of the eggs don't go up and down. Um, let's say if it's 97 degrees at its low and 102 at its high, the egg's actually going to be right in the middle. It'll be the average of the two because um, it doesn't warm up and cool down as fast. It takes a lot longer. So what I did was I not only put this 15 watt light bulb in there, covered up all the holes, put some insulation back over this window um, because you lose a little bit of heat with it because it's not insulated. But I also put some mason jars in here full of water. Now I got rid of that little backing that I had in there and just the light bulb in there with the holes all covered up keeps it about 99 to 100. The mason jars are basically going to do exactly the same thing the eggs would be. You know, um, it's like a heat sink. And what, what that's going to do is it's going to keep, keep the temperature more constant. Um, since that water, that jar takes a lot longer to heat up and cool down, it'll, it'll keep this temperature more consistent. You know, just like if you live like around the ocean or Lake Michigan and stuff like that, it, it stays warmer there in the in the fall before it gets into winter and it stays cooler you know come spring because the, the water takes a lot longer to cool down and heat up so it keeps it more constant but uh, yeah humidity is perfect even too um, I had a big problem with the humidity with the big holes in it the humidity average was like 25 it was like getting down to like 27 25 which is way too low I even wet some sponges and it didn't even do anything um, and there's water down there. Um, if you guys remember, I mentioned to put some water down here underneath the tray. Um, so there's water probably right up to about here, you know, right up to the bottom of this tray uh, that's sitting in there. And I haven't had to wet any sponges. I haven't had to do anything. It stayed constantly at, you know, fit between 53 and 62 or so, I'd say. Um, but yeah, it's perfect. 99 degrees, perfect consistent temperature, even if it fluctuated a little bit. You can't totally keep it right where you want it. Even those real fancy, expensive ones, the temperature fluctuates, you know, until the thermostat can click it on and off and, you know, do that. So I think with a light bulb, this is just, this is a pretty good job. And um, this is with my house temperature right around 70 degrees. You know, the house temperature fluctuates 67, 68 at nighttime. And then when the sun's shining in the windows and everything, it gets up to about 73. So even with that almost 10 degree fluctuation in temperature, this little little uh, 
little thing hasn't hasn't moved more than a, a degree um, and that's because of the insulation and the water that's in there and the, the mason jars there's a big one there and there's a little one right there if you can kind of see it so there's two mason jars with water in there that keeps it more consistent and I've got a 15 watt light bulb in there now instead of a 40 so um, so yeah that's just a little bit of an update I feel comfortable to put some fertilized eggs in there now uh, and I've got about three of them that I've been I've had set aside from the last day or two um, so yeah so that's about it that's a little update and uh, thanks for watching guys and I apologize I can't comment on my videos anymore I haven't integrated my YouTube channel with Google Plus yet um, the, I've, tr I've actually done it and the Google Plus doesn't allow me to upload videos from my software that I have the, that came with my camera so I had to disconnect my channel and uh, it's just not connected to Google so I can't comment I, I see all your comments I appreciate all the good responses but I just can't comment back to you which kind of really sucks but um, <clears throat> oh yeah I also stapled a towel around the bookshelf and um, to kind of hold some of the heat and temperature in and everything like that so so everything all the way around the whole sides the back and the front and uh, the main reason I did that is because this is a big back door and uh, it's pretty drafty there's a little bit of a gap at the bottom so it's pretty drafty but um, other than that even with that it still stayed pretty constant so so I feel good about it we're gonna put some eggs in there tomorrow and I'll give you guys an update after a couple days when they start to get fertilized so thanks for watching